Now, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can get networking up and running between your host and your virtual machine. So I've got the Node.js box running here, and you can see here that it's all working nicely. Um, so if I just go to lit.ie, uh, you can see there that it's talking to the big bad world, um, and it's all fine. So this is just by default, it'll all work. Now, what we need to do is get some other things up and running first. Um, there's things that I can't do. For instance, um, at the moment, I can't get this thing to work as a host for a web server. So what I'm going to do is just shut this down. And we're going to go back into the settings for the, the device itself. So if we go to the settings here under a network, this is our box. Um, you'll see that currently we have this in, uh, adapter one enabled and two, three, and four aren't. And it's currently attached to the NAT. Um, and this is the default one used by VirtualBox. But what we need to do is set up another one in here. So we're going to enable a second adapter. And this time we're going to have it as a host only adapter. So VirtualBox host only Ethernet adapter and click OK. Now, what this will do is give us um, a connection between the host and the virtual box itself. So if I run up CMD uh, on the start menu there, I've already got an instance running here. And now if I type in IP config, you will see that we have our standard local area connection. But in addition to that now, I've got this virtual box host only network. So that's sitting at 192.168.56.1. And we're going to use that again in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is restart the, um, the virtual box. So let's click start on that. And um, what we're going to do is, I'll just see if we can talk to the network using that. It really is as simple as just turning on that adapter. Okay, we're back into our virtual machine here. So I'm just going to run up a terminal, Control Alt T, and uh, this time what I'm going to do is look at IF config, C O N F I G, and you can see here what it's now giving us is Ethernet zero, and this is a standard that comes through with VirtualBox. Uh, it's ten zero two fifteen, but if we look at this one, we now have our second Ethernet adapter. And it's addressed is 192.168.56.101. So um, just go down to the bottom of this one. And we're going to pull up the DOS box again as well. So we have this one running here. So I'm going to run a CLS on this. I'm just trying not to show too much. And what I'm going to do is ping the virtual box. So ping 192.168. 56.101 and you can see there that we're getting a response back from it um, now we can do the same over here so hang on, let's get that address um, let's see how that what's our own get that so now what I want to do is ping 192.168.56.1 from here so 192 point okay 192 Point one six eight point fifty six point one on that, and hopefully we'll get a response back. And this is the Windows host um, responding to that. So it's Control C to enter that, and that's effectively what our first step in getting uh, networking up and running between the virtual box and the host. All right, thank you for watching.